All right, guys, welcome back. We're not doing square body school today, and I regret we didn't get this video done sooner. But as you see, every time we bring you a video from the showroom, we've got our signs, we've got a lot of things improving. But we had to bring a video on this Bronco. I wanted to catch one while we had the other Bronco in here. If you get a chance, scroll back on our channel. You'll see the other Bronco. When I say the other Bronco, it was the Bronco, the most expensive Bronco we probably ever will see or sell. It was $275,000. It was built by a very, very reputable restoration company prior to coming to us. And then the customer consulted us on all the finishing touches, shocks, suspension changes, tires and wheels, and a few other little custom touches. This Bronco right here parked beside it though, looked almost identical. Uh, this Bronco's undergone a very, very nice restoration. Uh, it is cosmetic and mechanically restored in many ways. We don't know a ton of history because we did not get it directly, but um, we've been up top, bottom, side. We've been all over this Bronco. And my brother, and unfortunately my dad's not here to also witness this Bronco, but my brother was, he went over this one with a fine tooth comb. Him and my dad were very, very big connoisseurs of Broncos. So bringing you over here to a little bit of Bronco history, but this style Bronco was built from 1965 to 1977. It came in a SUV version. It came in the pickup version, which is what you see behind you. And it actually came, most people don't know, in a Roadster version, which would have had no top at all. Pretty crazy, but as you can see from these pictures, and I uh, can't quite read it on the back of all of them, but these are from very early times. And this was one my dad restored. One obviously he used almost all the time. You can see we had our canoe on the top of it. And this was also what would be called uncut. That's the way the Bronco came. If you look at the Bronco behind you and the one that we just sold, that is cut. Basically it opens the fender wells up in this area to look the same and also clear more tire. So it looks more proportionate. That's why some people also run this fender flare because when you cut it, it's jaggedy. So you gotta finish it off. But if you look at them in an uncut form, which you don't hardly ever see these days, that's what a Bronco looked like. There's one in the background right there. One in this picture right here. They had some pretty cool paint schemes. Like this was a factory paint scheme. That was a factory paint scheme. Uh, another one here, which my brother Brian actually drove to high school and him and my dad restored. We'll bring you some of these pictures when we do our next square body school. There's another one where we're out on a beach trip. There's another picture of an old one there, and we got to bring you a Wagoneer video soon. So, again, some of this is obviously because a lot of people, you know, we're a little bit new to YouTube. A lot of people think, oh, these guys just jumped on the bandwagon, you know, and with YouTube, hey, you can learn anything, you can say anything, you can figure things out. We can bag everything we say up. When we say we've been doing this for a long time, we have. My father, obviously, predecessor to us in the business, and uh, he loved trucks, he loved SUVs, he loved square bodies. The next square body school is going to be a good one because we got a enormous amount of pictures to go through our 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000 era of square bodies between my dad, my uncles, my brothers, some pretty cool builds. But after this body style, 1978 to 1996 was the bigger body Bronco. Now there was body style changes in this era. Um, the 65 to 77 really did not look much different. Pretty much everything looked the same. They were this design. Uh, 200 and some thousand of them were built, pretty big number, um, but not compared to Jeeps. Jeep was blowing out Jeeps like crazy, and we also sold a lot of those, as you can see in these pictures too. Um, but 1965 to 77 was the baby Bronco, as most people refer to it. But a cool thing about this one was, when we got it on the rack, you know, a lot of them had been fixed up. They were junk, they were rust buckets, they were tore all to pieces. This one has had one fender and one door, according to what we can tell. Now we don't know, maybe it was because of an accident, maybe it was because a tree limb fell on it. It was not because of rust. This truck right here was rust free. It even had the original steering box. We put a new steering box, we put a new steering arm, uh, a couple other front end steering components while we were at it. And he actually had to chisel the dirt out of the crevices. If you ever worked on an old truck, you know what we're talking about. So over time that thing continued to leak and then it got dusty and it built up around the bolts. He had to get all that out. All the crud was still there. So nobody's gone under this one and just pressure washed it and blew some paint on it. The undercarriage is very original. The under the hood has been cleaned up. This is a six cylinder. Of course, there was a V8 option also. This is a three on the tree. There was an automatic option as well. 
but you can tell the coil's new, the wires are new, distributor's new, fuel pump's new, coolant bottle, washer bottle, of course, redhead steering box. We did a new sector shaft. Those always have play and wear out. New battery, new battery hold down. It's had a new radiator. The wiring is clean. The carburetor's new. We just had to have this off. I got to put another bolt in right here uh, to hold it down. Alternator's new. Water pump's new. Thermostat housing and gasket's new. And it's also got a pretty cool header on it. Um, you wouldn't usually call a manifold a header or whatever, but it's a header. It's a long tube. It runs way down underneath. It's actually two pieces. It's pretty neat. Starter's new. That's new. The exhaust is all new. Uh, they actually ran it into dual exhaust, which is pretty neat. They did a really clean job. Two toning around the grill, which would have been error correct. You do see a lot of them restored where they do that the same body color. Um, the roll bar, not quite sure on how original that is or isn't, but uh, that was done really clean. The top's nice. I've got a few pictures of it with the top off being painted. Tailgate, phenomenal. No rust, no rust in the seam. All new hardware, new latch hardware. And again, this metal here was thin, so all this stuff would corrode, all this stuff would rust. It's not, so that's nice. And again, I wish we had some background. So this Bronco is $79.95, $79.995, 80 grand. If it had a Coyote motor, if it had any more updated stuff to it, which is no problem to do, the last Bronco that was $200, almost $80,000, it had a Coyote motor. Um, but aside from the motor and drive line, if you don't like the six cylinder, it can be changed. But look at all the trim on the door, the latch, the handles, all the hardware, the window motors are nice and fresh. All the seat bracketry is clean. It's all been taken out. It's all been painted. There's an extra screw from somewhere. Uh, door panel screw right there. Got to stick that back in. Um, floor shift four by four, of course. All your hardware here is nice and clean the stainless trim around the carpet. Very comfortable seats, not factory style. All the glass is nice and intact. All the emblems are good. This is a really, really good specimen of a Bronco. And we all know Barrett Jackson, all the different auctions, these things are bringing crazy money. So we love our square bodies. We've only got a few left. We're getting ready to get some new ones ready, but we've been really pounding to get the trucks that we have in, restored, reconditioned, whatever you want to call it, and back up for sale. This one right here needs nothing. All it needs is somebody to take it home. If you don't like the power plant, throw whatever you want into it. If you don't like the paint, repaint it. You know, that would suck, but you could. It looks black. It is a very, very dark, I guess you would call it emerald green with a lot of metallic. Very, very clean paint job. Body lines are straight. Hit down the side there, AJ. I mean, look, your body lines are excellent. Your body lines here are excellent. Nice and clean. They did a great job on the cut. Everything under this truck is nice. Um, we took it to a show two weeks ago and I had to drive it home down Interstate 95. And I'll tell you, it didn't tremendously love that trying to run 80 miles an hour, but it did it. But the little six cylinder with the three on the tree was, was doing all it could do. So this is more of a Sunday cruise, go out. One other thing while we had on the rack, this truck had original drive shafts, single joint, single joint drive shafts. So Brian and Daniel decided that obviously it was in, it had some play in the slip yoke um, and the single joint, single joints, just not great. It had a little shimmy when you took off, a little vibration on the clutch. So we did brand new drive shafts front and back with dual Cardane joints. So you got double joints up at the top at the transfer case coming out to a single joint at that uh, actual differential and everything is nice. The slip yokes are nice and tight. Everything is like it's supposed to be. It's got plenty of long travel, so if you want to go bigger, you could, uh, and you don't have that extra little bit of play. So you're not going to worry about that. These trucks were notorious for throwing out a drive shaft because that little single U-joint would just get fire hot, burn all the grease out of it. You're not going to worry about that now. That's also been done. They retorqued the suspension, adjusted everything. It's been gone over thoroughly, so good looking. Kind of error correct tire and wheel combination. If you want to change that, we can do it. If you want to go crazy, Put some boggers on it, no problem. If you want to do some 20s, 22s, no problem. That's what we ended up doing on the last Bronco. That's what the customer loved. He wanted some Toyo 33s and 20s. That's what we did. They would have fit right on this truck too. Uh, matter of fact, I've got the tires and wheels that came off that. If you want something a little different, they're outlaw style, smaller holes. 
But that's your Bronco, that's your history. We could go on and on just like with square bodies forever. There's so many cool things about these classic Broncos. We know there's a following. I know all your square body diehards are gonna um, cuss at us for this not being a square body video, especially since we got our cool new sign. And that is to our website, believe it or not, where you can also buy merch. Um, got a lot more of that coming, hats, hoodies, koozies, t-shirts, uh, whatever you like. But a little bit of Bronco history from Davis Auto Sales. Been in business since 1976, and our next square body video is gonna be a good one. So please tune in. Thanks for watching today. Sincerely, thanks for following. We really appreciate support from everybody. Uh, the page is growing. We're trying to bring you guys content in between the busyness and craziness we've got going on. It's not just trucks. I mean, Rolls Royce, Maserati, the new Corvettes we get all the time. We've got a Lambo coming in on trade, the Sherp, crazy blower motor Jeep, and then across the streets, 200 and some trucks that are every single shape, size, dump trucks, flatbeds, and even equipment. So trying really hard, guys, to bring you everything. If you see something you want to see more of, reach out to us. AJ, Christian, somebody in the office can get you a video dropped at any time, even if it's not on YouTube. And uh, some cool content coming from the off-road shop very soon. Some really, really cool news on something that's been in the works, and we're getting ready to drop it pretty large. It's going to be life-changing for these uh, square body trucks, especially for guys my age. So we'll leave it at that, but it's coming soon. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Please click and subscribe.